Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Finding Genius podcast, now part of the Finding Genius Foundation. Um, my guest is uh, Dayan Goodnow. He's the founder, president, and CEO of Prodrome Sciences. And we're going to talk about uh, his work and what are called, well, I hope I can pronounce this, plasmalogens and longevity. So thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me, Richard. I really appreciate being here. Yeah, tell me a bit about uh, your background and uh, what's the, you know, what is Prodrome about? Well, thank you. Yeah. So my background is in chemistry. My first degree is in synthetic organic chemistry. and My PhD is in psychiatric medicine, looking at the biochemical basis of psychiatric disease. And so I've been heavily involved in both the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industry for many, many years. And at the end of the, around 1999, I invented a technology called non-targeted metabolomics. And this allowed me to look at thousands and thousands of small molecules, basically the metabolic intermediates of all of our biochemical pathways in biological systems, such as your serum, your blood, tissue samples, you know, genetically modified organisms, and so on. And the purpose of this was to be able to have a complementary technology to full genome chip technology, for example, where people are looking at gene expression analysis. And the one of the main reasons for inventing and developing the technology was to understand function genomics. When we're doing gain of function, loss of function, mutations, can we identify what these genes are really doing by measuring changes in, in their metabolic profiles after that happens? And we needed a comprehensive technology to do that. And so that's where that invention came in. And then as I applied it to more of the clinical research field, which is where the bulk of my work is, using you know, tens of thousands of patients around the world looking at different biochemical changes associated with disease, it was very successful at understanding the biochemical differences, like for cancers and neurological diseases. Quick question here. How do you get a baseline, though? So, you know, do you do metabolomics on a certain, you know, let's say a mouse, and then you try to knock out one of its genes and then look at the, the changed metabolomics? Like, how do you establish what's changed? Well, that, in the preclinical research, that's exactly right. So it's all in your experimental design at the preclinical side. In the human world, we use distribution analysis with just general healthy people or non-disease versus disease. So the different clinical phenotypes would identify the different variable classes. And so whether it's colon cancer, pre, post-surgery, age match, gender controls, so to speak. So, and then we look at the you know, the effect of age, gender, disease states on biochemical profiles as a function of changes in individuals' variables. And that was very, very successful in multiple diseases. So well, many patents developed technology, developed other diagnostic technologies in relating to disease diagnostics. And so we sell like colon cancer and pancreatic cancer blood tests in Japan, for example. And so the, but what happened as I got more involved in this, one molecule class that came of many was called plasmalogens. These are critical fossil lipids that are involved in neurological functions, synaptic release. They're involved in the amyloid formation pathway, for instance, as well as reverse cholesterol transport for, for cardiovascular disease. And they were lower in people with Alzheimer's disease. So that required more and more research and more significant research. And that's where plasmalogens really became a critical biomarker of disease. 